Hello guys, yeah, here I show the first generation of my DIY injection mold molding machine. This is the simplest one and totally is totally manual manual operated. And at first, I bought a hand press. This one is a cast on substance stuff, and is is manually operated a handle here, a long. Don't knock this crossbar. Instead. Just a one piece arm, and there is red and pinion inside to move this ram up down. This is a a used machine I bought in second hand. So after I bought it, I had a I I had the mind to use it to make a injection molding machine. Of course, it's a manual one, and then I build the. This is the uh, heating part. and the cylinder for the mold heating up the plastic material, and this is a wise big wises and the first time I make the mold in this manner is two two half mold is also a simple mold so for the recommendation if you are making a injection molding machine for the molds that are simple molds such as those for making fish braids or small figure and the injection pressure is is not big for for such mold because the wall thickness is, is thicker and the area is not large so you just build this type of inj manual injection molding machine is enough and also the the mold and use this type of mold the spur or runner come in here this is the simplest one however when I mode the parts that are thinner and more more complicated I found this machine is not enough I can't fill the mold completely even though I, you can see I use a bigger handle here it's very long arm there is two two sections here I still I use my all body weight to press on this arm to ingest the molten liquids into the, the mold and still it can't fill up the mold so later on I give it up and do the generation 2 but anyway this is the easier one to be built and here is the two heating zone electrical control temperature controller and also I, I make it on my own and same as other injection much molding machine that I build, I use this screw stud for the frame, and uh, this is our minimum pay. This also our minimum pay. We very thick, and we enforce them by steel section here. You can see here. 
I, I should have did them here also, but I miss miss to include here in the feeding model. Now I bring bring the camera to the actual part of the machine. Here is the hand press that I used the one I bought it. And now the red and pinion here, the red tear is cannot be seen inside the hole here, under here. You can see some teeth here and the pinion gear here, and it is insert here so when turning it the ram go up and down and after I operate a while because I need high injection pressure so the pinion teeth also deformed but if you, you use it for light or for 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 the light parts or the for example the polyethylene or polypropylene material and it will will work well and another piece is the handle this handle is I made it and here you can see here the arm only one section I can extend it with these four pieces and to make it longer This machine is supposed to be inserted into this. Another big part is the wires. This is the very large wires. Still in the in the in my molding of uh, some complicated parts, I find this wise cramping force still not enough because of the also the injection pressure create a big force to split it apart. So the parts are simple. So as long as you can buy a hand press of this tab, a used one, then you can modify it to a injection motor conveniently. And here is some parts. It's the same bit from this. This is the spiral spring for returning when when this down you can easily retract back and also the, the electrical temperature controller the I here I still use it here Of course, I need when I use the extension rod here. I need to move this whole sub assembly up, upwards so I can turn it or to position it in a higher position by placing some chair or something here. Thank 
you for your watching and one thing is the I I use the piston diameter is in three quarters inch or 19 millimeter and it can provide 13 cm cube or cc molten material or exclusion and this volume is enough for, for most of my ingestion most 